All right, let's jump right in. You know that last minute scramble before a vacation? The panic of trying to make sure everyone, and I mean everyone, knows you're gonna be away? Well, you're in exactly the right place. We're about to turn that chaos into crystal clear communication, and we're gonna do it all inside Outlook. I mean, come on, who hasn't this happened to? You've got your bags packed, your mind is already on that beach, and bing, a meeting invite for a critical project sync pops up for day two of your trip. It's like the number one sign that your time off isn't nearly as visible as you thought it was. So we're gonna fix that for good. And it's super simple. We'll follow a little framework I call Me, We, Pro. First, we'll get your personal calendar totally locked down. Then we'll get the whole team on the same page. And finally, we'll go pro by automating your communication so you don't have to think about it. Ready? Let's do this. Okay, first up, the me fix. Look, it all starts right here with your own personal calendar. This is the bedrock, the foundation for everything else. Seriously, if we don't get this part right, the rest of it just doesn't work. And this is such a great way to think about it, a digital shield. Because setting your status to out of office is so much more than just a label. It's an active defense for your time. See, when you mark yourself as busy, people can still try to book over it. But out of office, that tells Outlook, nope, not available, automatically decline anything new. It's your calendar's way of standing guard for you. Okay, so the steps are super straightforward, but I really want you to focus on step three. This is the absolute key. When you create that vacation event, it's so easy to just leave the status as busy. Don't do it. You have to click that drop down and explicitly choose out of office. That is the magic switch. That's what puts up the shield and lets everyone know you're gone. Right? I mean, that's the big question. You've built this perfect fortress around your time off on your own calendar, which is great, but you don't work alone. You're part of a team. And that brings us to the next absolutely critical piece of this puzzle. So now we move on to part two, the we fix. This is all about taking that personal organization and scaling it up to the whole team. This is how we get rid of those endless email chains just trying to figure out who's in the office next Tuesday. Now the whole goal here is to create one single source of truth. Just imagine it, you need to plan a big project launch and with one click, you can see everyone's planned time off in a single view. No more guesswork, no more awkward, oh shoot, I had no idea you were on vacation moments. Just clarity. And look how easy it is to actually set this up. You just create a new calendar, give it a super obvious name like Team Vacation Calendar, and then you share it. But, and this is important, pay really close attention to step four, the permissions. You want everyone on the team to be able to see it for sure, but you probably only want a manager or an admin to be able to edit it. That just prevents any accidental deletions or changes. Okay. So let's recap. Your personal calendar is solid. Your team is totally in sync. We're in a really good spot. But what about everybody else? You know, clients, people from other departments, stakeholders. Your work world is bigger than just your team. So how do we handle their expectations? This, my friends, is where we hit the pro level. We're gonna set up automated messages that are so clear and professional, they'll manage all that external communication for you while you are, you know, busy doing anything but working. Now, this might seem like a small detail, but it's actually super important. There's a real difference between a standard out of office and a true vacation message. Think of it like this. Out of office is for a quick conference. It kind of implies you might be checking in. Vacation, on the other hand, means I am completely disconnected. Getting this right sets the perfect expectation from the very first reply. And here's a fantastic template for that shorter absence. It's just perfect, clean, professional, straight to the point. It says, here's who to talk to if the building is on fire. Otherwise, I'll handle it when I'm back. Zero confusion. Now, for that big extended vacation, this template is your absolute best friend. Look at how it breaks things down. It's not just one contact. It's a full coverage plan. Project stuff goes to this person. Client stuff goes to that person. This isn't just helpful for the person emailing you. It actually empowers your teammates and keeps everything moving seamlessly while you're off the grid. These are all great tips. But if you only remember one, make it the last one. Test before you leave. Seriously, it takes 10 seconds. Just send an email from your personal account to your work account. See how it looks on your phone. Is the formatting all messed up? Can you actually click on the email addresses you listed? A tiny little check like this can save a world of headaches for everyone else while you're gone. 
So there you have it, the me, the we, and the pro fixes. And I know it might feel like a bunch of small separate steps, but when you put them all together, the payoff is massive, not just for you, but for your entire organization. And this isn't just, you know, a gut feeling. It's backed by actual data, a 40% reduction in scheduling conflicts. Just stop and think about that for a second. 40%. Imagine how many fewer, hey, you free on Thursday emails that is? How much wasted time you get back from rescheduling meetings that never should have been booked in the first place? It's proof that a few minutes of setup really does save hours of frustration later. All right, to pull this all together and make it super easy to remember, we've put together one final actionable checklist. This is your vacation ready cheat sheet. And here it is, this covers the whole shebang. Plan ahead around busy times, get that time on the calendar early, and please use the correct out of office status. You can even get fancy with color coding. Make sure your calendar syncs everywhere, talk to your team so you're not all gone at once, document who's covering for you, and of course, set up that killer auto reply. Nail these and you're golden. So when you think about it, we've taken something as simple as a calendar and turned it into a powerful strategic tool for the whole team. It really makes you wonder, right? What other small everyday habit, if everyone just did it the same way, could totally transform how your team works? That's a good one to chew on.